2020. This is the decade that I've been working so hard to get to so that I can have the opportunities that I've always wanted for myself. And my 20s is just when I'll see how it all plays out, whether I end up getting a good job in a city I like, and just whether I'm successful at starting out my career. As I sit here and just think about the next 10 years of my life, these milestones aren't on the top of my mind anymore, which is so odd because it's consumed my life for the past like four years. Because I realized how important the next decade is to the planet. I like, I've definitely always known this, just not with this level of understanding of its urgency. And I'm actually so frustrated that it's taking me this long to understand the situation that we're actually in and how little time we have left. And through me realizing all of these things and feeling just so much, again, frustration because I can't believe I didn't know this earlier and I also feel like there's not much I can do, um, I still never really spoke out as someone who cares a lot about the environment or anything like that because I think being in that position just seems always very intimidating because even though I try to reduce my meat consumption and my plastic use, I'm not completely vegan and I still use single-use plastic. And I just felt like I'd be such a hypocrite to speak on these issues. But I've realized that taking action and caring about the environment and being vocal about it is something that is super useful because it's definitely been something that's influenced me. I feel like a lot of other people might be at the same starting point as me and I just kind of wanted to share this so that maybe some of you would join me. I'm not like telling you what to do, but I want to share the things that I'm learning and I hope you guys do the same. We help each other out in being able to make more meaningful action because this decade is so important. Yeah, so this I've decided will be a priority for me heading into this new year and new decade and I hope that for some of you, maybe it'll start feeling like one as well. Alright, so I know we're not in the position to be making the decisions that will incite huge changes, but that is not an excuse for us to not try and make meaningful impact. Individual choices in terms of diet and consumerism are super important and the more people make these individual decisions then the more likely that restaurants, companies, and corporations, etc. will align their practices with our priorities. The thing is though, we're able to make more immediate and widespread impact through legislation. We have a voice in this and I feel like we haven't really taken advantage of that. I rarely see people post about what Canada is doing on a political stage, so I've never really thought to get involved in that way. But with being in SF and having my year-long project be about climate policy, I've realized how approachable this path of action really is. So for example, in America, a very prominent proposal is the Green New Deal, and it basically pushes the government to create clean energy infrastructure, and doing that, um, they'll create more jobs, and the idea is the cost of the investment into this proposal is the same as the damages that would be caused by the climate crisis. I actually support a different bill, it's called the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act, and it basically is a carbon fee, and it discharges for fuels at its source, so it kind of pushes um, companies and corporations to change and move towards more sustainable methods versus I guess the government making this happen and all the money that the government gets from this will be divided equally and given back to its citizens and legal residents. The idea is those who make more carbon would lose money whereas those who create less smart carbon emissions will I guess be gaining money because if you're watering a lawn every day and you're getting the same amount of money back as people who don't have lawns then obviously you'd be like losing more money but then the majority of people would be gaining money from this. So yeah, I mainly support this because it's nonpartisan. so to me, it seems like there is a lesser chance of it getting overturned, and also I just feel like it would meet less opposition with every change that it tries to make because it's nonpartisan. I guess in the spirit of sharing, like, actions, what I'm doing right now is I'm working with the Citizens Climate Lobby to um, advocate for the passing of this bill, so I'm specifically working with a group to research things about the representative in Fresno, which is just a city in California, so then we're able to better influence them, so that's just like one way that I decided to get involved, and it's super approachable and not that difficult, and like you get to control the amount of work you put in, so. In terms of Canada, I have no clue what's happening. We're still trying to meet our goal of reducing our emissions by 30% by 2030. That's what we pledged in the Paris Agreement. And Canada is one of the largest emitters of carbon. Like, we mine oil. <laughs> 
So I don't know why we still have a 30% reduction target. It's odd because we've also pledged to reaching net zero emissions by 2050, and I don't know how we're going to be able to reduce our emissions by 70% over the course of 20 years if we're not even able to reduce by 30%. Um, in a little over 10 years. I'm really surprised that I haven't really heard about ways to be able to um, take action on this and get involved, but if you have any ideas, like please, please, please let me know. Anyway, I guess my point is that climate action on the political stage is super, super crucial. And this year, I'm going to try to keep myself more meaningfully informed. So that means staying up to date on what's happening in Canada and America. And most importantly, taking the extra step to figure out what I can do to take action. So again, like I know we keep joking that the world is burning. And I think on a very basic level, we all know that the Earth is dying. But like, take a second to think about how true that is. Is we have so little time, but we're making so little progress. <laughs> this is going to affect Ontario in the near future, and this crazy hectic 10 years is going to mean everything. I hope you join me this year um, in making a more consistent effort to create impact where I can. And please, please, please share with me what you've learned, uh, what you know, and how I guess you're taking action and doing your part because that would be super helpful in helping me stay up to date with what's happening and also just give me a starting point in terms of how to take action, I guess, in ways that I probably haven't already. And I'll try to do the same. I'll share what I learned and what I'm doing and hopefully we can just all do this together. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you stayed all the way to the end, you're a real one. Um, and yeah, let's do it.